Our feature story this week is centred around the Croydon Community School Martial Arts Program. The program teaches social skills, self-discipline, respect for self and others, and provides techniques for managing emotions in challenging circumstances through the medium of martial arts. We were truly amazed at the impact this program has on students. The four main principles underpinning the program are simplified as be calm, be kind, be strong from an inner strength point of view, and try hard. It is an amazing program that assists students in their personal growth and elicits change in self-control, perseverance, and the management of emotions. Let's head out to Kew High School and see this program in action. Who has ever made a poor choice when they've been angry or upset? All right, so in other words, if you can take a few calming breaths first, it's the beginning of good decision making. On your feet, gentlemen. All right, take a big step forward, please, and a big step back. Forward and back. Make two lines, off you go. All right, hands on hips, follow the leader. Paul will help you with posture. Let's do a warm up. Get a shoulder. I'm Bronwyn Harcourt, I'm Principal at Croydon Community School and EMR Options. Um, Croydon Community School is a small school in, that um, specialises in students who are at risk of not completing secondary education at the time of their enrolment. Um, I love watching our kids connect with really positive role models who are in the whole of very gentle males. Um, it's not an aggressive fighting program whatsoever, it's very non-combative. Um, and teaches people that warriors are peaceful, uh, not aggressive at all. Hi, my name is Steve Golding and I'm the Program Manager of the Martial Arts Therapy Program that's based at Croydon Community School. Uh, the program started 10 years ago in private practice, but with our work with Croydon Community and a range of other schools, we've been slowly absorbed into education because, it seems, we found a really effective way of engaging with young people and helping them learn a variety of life skills that they can translate to everyday and, uh, events and their lives out, in and outside the classroom. The reason that we do warm-ups, roll your shoulders forward, is that warm-ups are the first stage in maintaining a healthy body. A healthy body is a healthy life. Who can do your warm-ups for you? Absolutely. So what you know is that when you choose to do a warm-up every day, you are choosing to take responsibility of you. All right, let's get those wrists working. Um, two stories that stand out for me has been quite remarkable with our own students. Is one is a young girl who is on the autism spectrum disorder and wouldn't move off uh, three bricks. She'd sit on the same three bricks every day. We involved her in the martial arts program. Um, she went through all its various stages, became a member of a local club, moved up through her own belts, um, and when she moved from living with one parent to living with the other who lived at Frankston, could then catch the trains and come up to school every day by herself. So from not moving off three bricks and having to be walked to a classroom to coming from Frankston, it's pretty remarkable. She's now an instructor within the program. Uh, another success is a, a one of our boys who's passionate about the program and couldn't get enough of it. And he um, would work a lot with our younger students, then was unfortunately involved in a car accident as a passenger, received quite severe head injuries. They put him into a coma um, in order to let his brain heal a little. And we're considering um, restraining him in the bed because of his constant movements. Uh, then his mother um, explained to him that the movements, explained to the doctors the movements he was making was the, the be strong, be calm, be kind, try hard, just taking himself constantly through that, which if you're in a coma is pretty remarkable, I think. We're incredibly lucky to be part of something that is cutting edge. We've looked around the world, we can't find anything that seems to have successfully knitted together the principles of education, principles of martial arts and bond them together into something that's safe, transferable and fun. Q High School Martial Arts Life Skills Class. One standing bow. Hey!
now we continue our feature story around the martial arts program. Let's find out what kind of results the program's been achieving with their new ways of dealing with old problems. If you can maintain some flexibility, you can find new ways to deal with old problems. But probably the way we use it a bit different to other schools is we employ um, Paul, who's a martial arts therapist, as a, as a campus liaison person for us with, the, with some of our difficult kids who have had um, behavioural issues. They've been um, designated as official defiance order or severe behaviour disorder. And we're funded for them through the integration support program. And we use that money to employ Paul four days a week at our school. Now his job really is to assist those kids to become self-reliant, self-regulating, self-managing of their behaviours, also to help them to be in class as much as possible. Um, the boys absolutely love the program. What they enjoy about the program is the physicality. It's extremely um, engaging and what really hooks them is the actual um, martial arts techniques that they learn. And through that whole program, they're constantly being encouraged to look at values and respectful behaviour and um, to learn about themselves and how they control their emotions. Uh, the thing that I really know and love about it is the, that relationships is at the core of everything we do in teaching and learning and that's what happens here. Like almost from session one, Steve or whoever else is here build fantastic relationships and those kids love coming for that reason, so that's the end. The boys think they're learning martial arts and they think that they're gonna do a lot of combat, combat and, and sparring and they forget all about that after session one and all of them are really keen to come back each week regardless of what they're doing. They love the storytelling that goes with it. Um, it's kind of education by stealth really because they think they're doing martial arts and even though Steve is talking about this is a life skills program, it's not until you see their behaviour start to change around the school that you realise that it's working really well. It's just been a, a fabulous program in that uh, we've seen a lot of um, positive outcomes. Great relationship building and also it's a respite for, for staff who, who have struggled to um, challenge some of their behaviours. Um, some of our staff constantly respond to the fact of how well they behave once they come back into the normal classroom. It's a real positive to have Paul in the place because it helps those students to develop their own resilience but also he comes up with behaviour management plans that he works through with the kids and then he'll take that to staff and help staff learn how the kids are feeling about this and what the kids think they can do to manage their behaviour and we've just found it a win for the kids, a win for us, much less um, stress for the staff and the kids are much happier to be at school because they're not being continually put out of class for non-compliance shall we say. So it's been a win-win for everybody. We're very impressed with the program. Having conversations with kids about, well, did you put that into practice? What did you learn in the martial arts? And were you thinking about that at the time that that happened? And they go, no, but you know what? I think I can do it. I think I can do it next time. So it's been a fantastic program for us and one that we're going to continue with. So at the moment, we're two years through a three-year pilot program funded by the Education Department. And the results so far have been stunning. Uh, last year we would have delivered more than 1,600 life skills classes and had more than 2,500 of the MSO shifts. And MSOs are MAT support officers uh, and they go into schools and work one-on-one -on -one with individuals with challenging and concerning behaviours in a way that they can re-engage in the learning process. Q High School Martial Arts Life Skills Class 1 and Standing Bell. Hey! Well done gentlemen, great class.